Yo guys, what's going on? This is Fine Lessons and today we've got some big ass news. It's been a long ass time, but we finally got some news on Persona 5. We had a big ass event where they took over Tokyo Tower and all of that stuff and it was just, I don't know, it was kind of, it was all sort of thing, you know, it started off really slow, you know, they showed off the new soundtrack, kind of like three new tracks that we hadn't heard before and they were kind of dope. They, they, were, they were nice, you know, they were kind of funky. I was kind of feeling, I was feeling the flow, I was feeling the flow, it was all good. After that, right, we had the actual show take place and what took place was first and foremost we got to meet the Velvet the Velvet attendants. We got the two twins, Caroline and Justine, right? So there's Caroline and Justine, the two Velvet twin assistants who will be taking over Margaret and uh, Elizabeth who used to be pro Persona 4 and Persona 3 respectively and all of that stuff and that's kind of dope that we get to find out the names finally after so long of wondering who the hell they are because we already knew they're going to be the next Velvet Attendants we just wanted to know their names and now we got confirmation on that which is always dope what was dope was the trailer and the trailer was amazing it introduced a whole lot of other people the trailer is actually out on my channel so i will leave a link to the description below leave a link in the description below for the trailer that i posted on the, my channel right so go check that out just take a look at the trailer the trailer is actually wonderful and they actually talk about a whole lot of stuff right so now if i go back on this uh website right now they start talking about well first of all the release date the release date, right? September 15th, 2016. Now, it hasn't been confirmed whether it's worldwide or if that's a Japan only release date, but it's always good to know that we have a release date. And Alice did say that it's coming to North America in 2016 as well. So I'm hoping, even maybe a month later, we're hoping not too soon in the fall, December, the holiday period, if that is the case, that it is the Japan only release date. Besides that, it's always good to have a release date. At least we know there's no more delays, there's no more pushing it back. We've got a set date. It's time. It's finally fucking time. Yes. Okay. But that's not all. You see? That's not all they hyped us up with. They told us a whole lot, you know, they were talking about the whole 20th anniversary because this year is the 20th anniversary for the Persona franchise from Persona 1 to Persona 5. There's been five series in the franchise minus all the other spin-off games. Um, but they started talking about how like they started they grew from Persona 1 to 5 I don't know the whole thing was in Japanese so you couldn't really grasp what the people themselves were saying But you could understand like you could see from the pictures what it was that was happening, right? They showed up the box art they showed us the box art for the PS4 and the PS3 version you know, they talked about the price that it's going to be in Japan and then they showed off the collector's edition. The collector's edition is looking hella dope, looking like I'm going to go broke by September because I've already looked at getting the PS4 to be getting Final Fantasy 15. So I'm going to, you, you, you're going to see me hella broke, all right? You know, if you see me like red shit ass clothes, I mean, look, look, man, I even, I even got up today wearing my Persona 4 jumper. You see that I had a Persona 5 one, but it's kind of dirty right now, so I didn't want to put that on. So I'm going to just put on the Persona 4 jumper for you guys. You, know, you guys can actually see it, you know. But yeah, they showed up the collector's box. That's really cool. It's got this like the best soundtracks from each game from Persona 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Five discs. That is a lot of fucking discs for soundtrack, okay? And the soundtrack from each Persona game was dope as fuck, okay? If you're watching this and like you maybe haven't played before Persona 4 or even this is going to be your first venture into the Persona series, I highly recommend you at least go on YouTube right now, take a look, take a listen to the soundtrack. It is 100% worth it. I guarantee you will not be disappointed. The music is phenomenal, phenomenal. It's amazing, a masterpiece in each one. And listening to it in the game as well, it really sets the tone for each each area that the music you hear the music in, right? And then they talk about more DLC that they got now. They got the personas from the previous owners. They got um, Izanagi and they got Orpheus from Persona 4, Persona 3, you had Yuna Rokami and Minato, Arisato or, or Yuki Makoto, whichever one you want to call them from Persona 3. And they had two DLCs now. They had one from the Persona 3 cast where everybody has the Persona 3 attire and they're all wearing that whole cast and everything. They got the uniform, the Gekko Kanhai. They had Persona 4 as well where everyone was wearing the Yakugami High uniform 
and that was really dope. It was really cool to see the Persona 5 characters uh, paying homage to the older series, and it was really nice. You know, even though it's just it's just a, it's just a little DLC, just for the nostalgia feel. Because like I say nostalgia, like when I first played Persona, it was like 20, 2013 that I first got into Persona. Even though the game is hella old, like Persona 3 came out in two thousand and six. Okay, that is ten years ago. Ten years. It's been a long ass time. And then they also announced stuff like for like Japan only, how there'll be an all control concert and all of that good stuff. And that kind of wrapped it up for the main event. But uh, hype is back up in the air. It's so high up, it's so high up, okay? It's so high, you guys don't understand how high up I am right now. You best believe, best believe I'm gonna be playing the game. I'm gonna be playing it so much, okay? So much. Yo, the LPs are coming. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Can you feel Final Lessons, LPs, Persona 5? Because we're gonna do it and it's gonna be lit and I hope all you guys will come and stick around and watch me play through it and I want you guys to experience the journey with me if you can't get the game yourself, you know, just watch it through with me or someone else that you enjoy and things like that. Just go through the experience with somebody, okay? Because this is not something you want to miss. This is gonna be great. That being said, I mean, yeah, I mean, go watch the trailer and all of that stuff, listen to the music. <sighs> Persona 5, September 15th, 2016, possibly Japan only release day. <sighs> I'm hype. I'm hype. If you guys are hype, let me let me know in the comment section below. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys are just hype for Persona 5 in general, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, subscribe for more Persona content. If you guys want to see more videos like this on Persona, things like that, let me know in the comment section below. Leave a like, show the support on the video, hit the subscribe button, all of that good stuff. I just want to see, I want to see you guys get active, I want to see you guys get involved, because oh, Persona is one of my most favorite series in any video game ever, right? And for a game that I jumped into recently to have that kind of effect on me, you know it's something fucking serious, okay? So, yes, okay, yes, yes. So I'm gonna get out of here. My name's Final Lessons and I'm out. Peace.